Hi guys, so today we're going to do a quick review of Pond's Light Moisturizer. This product is not a bad option for those who are on a tight budget and looking for something affordable. Firstly, let's talk about the good ingredients in this product. The main ingredient is niacinamide which is known for its benefits in reducing hyperpigmentation, increasing collagen production, improving skin elasticity and reducing acne. This product contains sodium ascorbyl phosphate which is a form of vitamin C and is a great antioxidant, collagen booster and skin brightener. Tocopherol acetate, also known as vitamin E, is another great antioxidant. This product also has glycerin and sodium PCA which are skin identical ingredients and allantoin which is known for its soothing properties. However, there are some ingredients in this product that could be harmful to certain individuals. Isopropyl meristate is used as an emollient in this product but it may not suit everyone as it can be comedogenic, meaning it could clog pores and trigger acne. Thus, it may not be a good choice for those with acne prone or oily skin. This product also has 6 perfuming ingredients listed which is a bad thing. Even if your skin reacts fine with fragrance, you may develop sensitivity over time. So I would personally recommend avoiding fragrance altogether. One important thing to note here is that even though sunscreen ingredients are listed, the product doesn't mention that it provides SPF protection. It's possible that the UV filters in this product aren't present in enough quantity to provide adequate sun protection. Therefore, if you choose to use it during the day, make sure to follow it up with a separate sunscreen. So overall, Pond's Light Moisturizer is a good budget-friendly option with some beneficial ingredients. However, it may not be suitable for everyone. If you have acne-prone or oily skin, it's best to avoid this product. Also, if you're sensitive to fragrance, this product may not be the right choice for you. So that's all for today's review. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.